Hi, I'm Gage Peterson, and today we're going to be talking about HDR, or High Dynamic Range. High Dynamic Range basically means that you're getting a wide range of light in your photos, meaning that you're not going to have blown out highlights and you're not going to have crushed blacks. Um, this is really good for editing because you can do whatever you want with said histogram. The reason you want to use high dynamic range is if you're shooting a landscape and you want to get that sky, but you also need to properly expose the land that you're actually taking a photo of because the sky is going to be really, really bright compared to the land. So it's really hard to be able to just naturally expose that image without using something like a circular polarizer or HDR. And a circular polarizer basically polarizes some of the incoming light from the sun and makes the sky darker. Now, if you don't have one of these, they can get pretty expensive depending on the kind you get and depending on the quality. And this is the main workaround for not using a circular polarizer or say a graduated neutral density fil filter. A graduated neutral density filter, that just did not come out right. So the way you achieve high dynamic range is either putting your camera in HDR mode, which allows it to shoot three or five exposures with varying shutter speeds. Or you can go ahead and manually adjust your shutter speed after taking each photo. Then you can select those images and combine them into one photo so that you have a large amount of information to play with. Another thing that comes with HDR shooting, because you're taking multiple exposures, it's gonna act sort of like a long exposure, meaning that you're gonna get movement in things that move. So like if you're shooting trees, if you're shooting a landscape with trees and it's windy, you're gonna see some of the blur from the trees or you might even get ghosting because you're gonna have a faster shutter speed and a slower shutter speed combined. It's just important to think about if that's something that you're not looking for, if you really want a really, really sharp image, uh, this may not be the way to do it, but there are ways you can work around it in Lightroom and I'll get to that when I start editing. So before we head out and shoot, I'm gonna go ahead and just go over a quick gear list. You're gonna need a camera, a sturdy tripod, and something to shoot. That's pretty much all you need. Um, so let's go shoot, let's do this. Okay, I'm gonna set up because I think I need to like right now. My girlfriend pointed out that she didn't quite understand how the intro or what bracketing was, and that's because I never said bracketing because I suck. HDR is what comes from bracketing. Bracketing is when you take three or five exposures in a row and then you combine them into one image so you get all of the best qualities of the light from each photo. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take one photo at mid-level exposure and then the camera is automatically going to overexpose once and then again a little bit higher and then underexpose once and then underexpose again a little bit lower. And I think this is about the best I'm going to get in terms of the sunset. So I'm going to go ahead and press this shutter button. One, two, three, four, up. Shit. crazy thing about Utah is we're in a big valley, there are mountains surrounding us, so all of the pollution from the cars and everything gets trapped inside here and it really makes for some stunning sunsets and sunrises. There are purples, reds, greens, <laughs> oranges, browns. It's actually pretty cool.
that's my new snowboard. Uh, what you were just watching happened about a week and a half ago, and Destiny 2 came out, and lots of other things, and I have a million excuses. Um, but in efforts to curb my procrastination and my laziness, I'm not opening that until I'm done with this video. Uh, first of all, before we start, I'd like to say that I got a thank you from the people who I did wedding photography for. And it's awesome to be paid money for doing what you love, but it's even better to know that doing what you love makes other people happy and they're happy to pay you to do what you love. <laughs> uh, that was a lot of words. Let's go into this. So I've gone ahead and loaded the images into Lightroom. And if you're not losing Lightroom, then I can't give you any advice because why aren't you using Lightroom? You should probably be using Lightroom. Loaded them in. I chose five that I thought would work really well. Yeah, so here they are and let's get to editing. So the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna select all five of your images and you're gonna right click them and you're gonna go to photo merge and hit HDR. Okay, so here's what it looks like after. And you can see I was a little blue on my uh, correction, on my white balance. You'll see right here, there's a thing called de-ghost amount and it has options low, medium, and high. And what this is gonna do is attempt to find trees that were swaying or anything like that, anything that was moving and try to get rid of the ghosting for you. Um, now that we have all of these images selected and we've gone into HDR merge, we're gonna merge it. Okay, as soon as your images are merged together, it's gonna pop up this sixth image or fourth, depending on how many photos you actually took. And you can see that it looks pretty decent. Comparing it to other photos, let's see. So you can see we got a lot more detail in the highlights over here, as well as more detail in the darks and just better contrast overall. You can go in and do some edits. I mean, you could you should go in and fix the color really quick. I'm gonna bring that temperature slider up a bit. You can bring the vibrance up just to bring some more colors in there. I mean, there's lots of stuff you can do. If you know how to use Lightroom, you know that this photo is far from done. And you're gonna watch me put together my snowboard now because I am itching to open it. So I'm gonna go make sure that I, my audio is good and that I'm gonna open this snowboard. snowboard on when you're wearing some slacks. That's the video for today. I hope y'all learned what you needed to learn about getting your HDR images. And if you guys need a snowboard, I'd recommend getting an Arbor Element Premium. They're pretty awesome. Um, comment. Great. Wait, is rating still a thing? Subscribe. Go shoot. Shoot when you don't think you want to shoot. Shoot when you don't want to shoot. Uh, push yourself to keep shooting. See you later.